The Public Interest and Accountability Committee, PIAC, has observed that the free senior high school policy could fail if concerns raised in the committee's monitoring report on the policy is not given serious attention. The challenges captured include corruption risks associated with food supply to senior high schools. The chairman of PIAC, Noble Wata, spoke to William Evans Inkum. We had made conscious efforts to visit schools around the country in selected uh, regions, districts, and there are, and there are. So these are clear, um, um, how do I call it, testimonies of school authorities and students. So we are recording what we have heard from the field. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we have a, a report to this. When we go to our website, you see the schools that we have visited and, uh, and the areas that we covered. So, uh, it is not a conjecture, but it's a product of uh, uh, a consultation, or it was a product of a visit. All right. Now, you also talked about performance. The abolition of cut-off grades in the admission of students has led to a situation of dumping of poor grade students in schools, particularly deprived schools. What you are saying, uh, is that not a contradiction? Because we also know that the free SHS was purposely introduced to afford every Ghanaian child access to free equity and quality education? Well, as you have rightly used the word access to quality uh, and the other variable you mentioned, uh, that even informs the very reason we are priakis of this position. Uh, we are saying that if you want to ensure quality, then you should be interested in what provides that quality you are talking about. Because what we are talking about is quality. But you have students who uh, have demonstrated clearly that they are probably not, uh, they don't have this academic orientation. That doesn't mean they are useless citizens. There could be other areas that will be of interest to them, maybe skills in, uh, maybe it can be a mechanic. That is clearly also an indication which needs to be looked